96th, as I understand it. And that obviously is not supposed to happen. So, But the margin of victory for both candidates was such that the discrepancy did not affect the race. And they'll still look into that and get all the answers as to why that happened and such yeah. with the map overlays, as Tony mentioned, and fix it, hopefully. Rob, the 96 with who? Is that Chuck Horse? Lisa White. Lisa White. From the 96. But, she won with 72% of the vote. Joe DeSoto won with 77% of the vote. So neither one of those totals is affected. Uh, and I got that from uh, the Secretary of State's office. But they can tell the, the difference of the discrepancy on the ballot was not enough because of the margin of victory to affect the race. So both Lisa White and Joe DeSoto appeared on the same ballot is that for in the uh, 19th or, precinct? Or one instead of the other. Or, I'm not okay. sure which it yeah, was, okay. uh, Bill. And then uh, I saw Brad Knoll was talking about the 97th, the Chris Sanders-Lucia Valentine race, saying that Lucia was ahead. Then all of a sudden there was a software update and she wasn't. And he said throwing you know ketchup and mud at the wall or whatever. Was there a conspiracy? No. Uh, Berkeley County was very late because of their software problems getting vote totals loaded last night. Once the vote totals got loaded and in Berkeley County was included, Chris Anders moved ahead of Lucia Valentine. When it was the Jefferson County numbers, Valentine had the edge. Once Berkeley County's numbers finally got totaled and counted after 10 o'clock, uh, they were <coughs> available earlier, but because of a software problem and loading them, they had trouble uploading those numbers when they finally did. Anders surged ahead and beat Valentine by about 9%. Uh, Sheriff Rob Blair is on the phone with us this morning as well. He had a convincing win yesterday as well, beating David Jackson by nearly 22,000 votes. Sheriff, good morning and congratulations to you. Good morning to you, and um, thank you very much, Rob. Appreciate that. I appreciate your patience in holding there during our segment with the clerk, Tony Petrucci. Rob, were you surprised at all by the margin of victory in this race? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm humbled by that uh, margin, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful for that. Um, surprised. Um, you know, it, it's a... It's a Republican county. Uh, Berkeley County is a strong Republican county, and um, I uh, I think my race I ran a a race of just based upon what I brought to the table as sheriff, and and uh, I'm I'm just uh, I'm pleased with the results. Maria, um, so um, so what next, sheriff? Um, what what's your first? And obviously, you've been doing the job for a while now, but do you have one uh, one thing that you will look to focus on first um, for this next however many years it is that you get to serve? Well, let me say this first. I'm glad it wasn't Tony Petrucci last night. <laughs> um, but uh, I, um, I, you know, as, as sheriff of Berkeley County, um, it's... Um, Everyone looks at it in the law enforcement perspective, and uh, we have a lot ahead of us in that regard. But I also have uh, the tax office, and um, it's it's uh, something we're going to be focusing on moving ahead. Um, but, uh, yeah, our manpower, um, I would say, by and large, manpower with the um, law enforcement side. We really need to uh, figure out how we can recruit um better uh, i think with the national change in politics uh, maybe being a police officer is going to be more appealing now um, and it's not going to be um, uh, defund the police movement we've had in the past and maybe we can uh, begin to get uh, more qualified applicants that we can uh, build our ranks up and and build the law enforcement side up to where it really needs to be so just to follow up, you made very brief mention of the tax office. Are there some things happening in the tax office um, that you want to address or that you can address with us this morning? Yeah, well, there, there, there are, when I, when I took office in January 18th, um, there were investigations happening um, within the sheriff's office. Uh, those investigations are continuing, um, and um, there are issues that are going to be addressed. I'm addressing uh, myself now. There's other in investigations that 
I can't speak about uh, other agencies that are investigating, and um, that would be the state auditor's office. Um, but I would refer any questions to them as far as that investigation. That's not our investigation. But um, I pledged 100% support when I came in to any investigation that was happening and is ongoing. Um, that will continue as long as I'm sheriff. And uh, we will 100% um, cooperate and um, is, whatever is needed. We is your chief deputy him. still working there, sheriff? The chief deputy of uh, the tax the office? tax office. Um, our chief deputy of the tax office is currently on administrative leave. Okay, thank you, Bill. Uh, yes, I realize, and I think you've answered it. I know there's an investigation going, but I understand there have been a couple of personnel changes. Uh, but they're they have not been. Uh, terminated, they've just been on administrative leave. Is that correct? Two people. Is that right? Um, one has been terminated, and one is on administrative leave. Okay. And obviously, the one that's terminated, uh, can you speak to that at all? Is that still a personnel issue? But the fact that she's been terminated. Um, I, I really don't want to speak about personnel issues. What I... Um, I would refer um, any questions about the ongoing investigations of the state auditor's office, and I don't know if they're even prepared to, to speak about this, but uh, I felt in my position um, uh, in working with the auditor's office that um, that was a necessary move on my part, and uh, I want to assure the citizens of Berkeley County that um, I will continue to make those decisions. Uh, on per personnel matters, uh, and I'll do, uh, this sounds very simplistic, I use it all the time, but I'll do the next right thing, whatever that may be. Uh, Sheriff, I want to uh, thank you for this. I, you came on to be a, a congratulatory uh, uh, interview, and we did get into something that's kind of sticky. I thought you answered the question as far as you could go, so I, I do appreciate that. I'm sure more information will come out in the next uh, uh, next few weeks so thank you very much for being as frank as you are and, and, I, and I want to i want to follow up with that i you know i'm not being evasive at all yeah. um if you remember when i took office um this has been before i even took office there were investigations happening and they've continued throughout mm -hmm. uh, so this isn't uh, me trying to evade any questions of anything i, I will in due time when i'm a when I'm uh, allowed, I guess, to say uh, more about investigations, I, I will do that. But um, I'm not going to compromise any investigations that have been ongoing prior to my um, taking this office. And uh, we're going to do it the right way. Uh, and uh, I appreciate that. That's Sheriff, fair. Yeah, Sheriff that's fair. Rob Blair won re-election yesterday and uh, nearly 75% of the vote uh, along the way to get there, too. Uh, so a new four years, Rob, and uh, maybe you could give us an idea how many more uh, deputies you'd like to hire over those four years and how much funding it might take to get to where you want to be. Well, there, there's a, a vision to grow uh, our law enforcement side to um, – uh, over 140 deputies, and I know that sounds like a lot. Uh, we're funded for 68 right now. But if you look at our population growth and, and where we stand um, nationally, uh, we're about 0.47 um, per thousand uh, residents right now, uh, and we should be at least uh, one per thousand. I think the FBI says two point something per thousand, but, um, but we're, we're looking at you know trying to get that number up um, as close as we can. Um, there's been some rank restructure we've done. We're preparing um, uh, to to get a facility in the north north end of uh, Berkeley County, Spring Mills, which will allow us to expand manpower there. And then we're even looking to the south end of uh, Berkeley County for a um, for a site there uh, to um, to expand to, so we can respond quicker to the citizens' calls. So uh, yeah, we we've got a lot ahead of us as far as uh, getting our manpower numbers up. So uh, 
that's going to be quite a challenge. Only about a minute left, Rob. What would it be cost-wise to basically double the force? Well, I, I certainly don't have those numbers in front of me, but it, it would, you know, if you're if you're doubling your force, you're going to double your cost. And uh, about as simplistic as I could put that, but uh, you've got equipment uh, matters and uh, that you have to look at. Um, but uh, there's funding sources out there. We're looking at that. I've, I've met with county officials about that, and uh, we're just uh, we're hopeful for the future here in Berkeley County. Rob, thanks so much for calling in this morning. We appreciate it. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Rob. I, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your election, sir. Thank you very much. Sheriff Rob Bye. Blair. And uh, you can't say re-election there because he was uh, appointed. Appointed. Right? Uh, correct. That's the correct way to do it is uh, election. And for Rob, because he was appointed in the last year of that term, it's a five-year max for him. He can't go and do another term after this one. He's termed out. Well, yes and no. He cannot do consecutive. He could set out four years, and then he could run again. Appreciate the clarification. Mm -hmm. This segment.